Okey, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to topic 2.8. Recording accounts opening balance. Alright, so guys, I realize that I always <laughs> uh, use the word okay. Right? I try to try to eliminate that uh, so now we are referring to page 22 if you have a study guide if you don't have okay just uh, follow me with the question uh, follow with follow me with the steps right so to record an opening balance is so simple using my job okay just go to setup okay and click easy setup maintenance okay is this setup maintenance over here? Okay, you can see there are four, um, uh, four options. Okay, uh, customize account sales and purchases. Okay, in our case, we will choose accounts. Okay, okay, when we choose accounts, okay, this window pop up. Okay, and then uh, it show here that this assistant provides step that will guide you in setting up your accounts list you can create new account delete or change existing account that appear on your list if you have your own account list you can import it into myop okay not in our case that, that is for advanced user this assistant will also give you the opportunity to enter opening balance so this is what we're going to do okay we're going to key in opening balance and the figure for the opening balance is available in your study guide okay before you begin we suggest that you gather all the information you may need to set up your account list okay so you have all the information in your study guide let's get started okay so now uh, the first one is okay Okay, this is next, sorry. <laughs> next. Okay. Back. Alright. Okay. You can key in the balance here. Okay. But, before you key in that balance, okay, you realize something in your study guide. That is a uh, furniture and fitting, and that furniture and fitting is not available here, correct? Okay. Office equipment at cost. Okay, we have the uh, the the office equipment at cost. Okay, you have a general check account. Okay, you don't have the petty cash. Okay. Uh, and also you don't have the accruals and also yeah you do have uh, paid up capital so what do you need to do yes you need to create account for furniture and fitting for accrual okay uh, and for petty cash okay pause this video and please create uh, accounts for furniture and fittings, petty cash, and accruals. Okay, you may find that some of the uh, account is not available so don't worry it's easy go back and then click new okay click new all right so it should be um, detailed account all right asset and this is fixed asset okay zero zero two one because uh, Furniture is a fixed asset. Press enter. Press enter and type furniture and fittings. Okay, and type furniture and fittings at cost. 
Okay, furniture and fitting and cost. Alright, and click OK. Okay, later we we will key in the opening balance. Alright, so what else not available? Petty cash. Click new. Okay, petty cash is a uh, is a current asset. Okay, we can put it as a uh, other asset also can. Um, other current asset also can. Okay, we put other current asset. Okay, other than that, for furniture, we need a uh, we need a uh, okay we need a uh, header for the furniture. So click header. All right. So uh, make it as zero zero two zero. Okay, press enter. All right, and then okay, furniture and fittings. Okay, click OK. Now we have uh, we have furniture as a header account and uh, furniture and fittings at cost as detail account, right? Okay. Let's continue. What else we need to, we need to do? We need to do the petty cash. Okay, click new. Petty cash is a bank. Okay, it's not bank per se, but uh, it's a it's a it function as a place that we uh, what we call it uh, keep our money. So we we put it as bank, uh, and the number is two one. Sorry, two one double two one four zero. Press enter. Okay, and it is petty cash. Okay, type petty cash. Type petty cash. Okay, type petty cash and click OK. Next file that we should uh, create is accruals. Yeah, accruals. So click new. Uh, accrual is other liability. Okay. And the number is two two dash four thousand, and then we type equals. Okay, then we type equals. All right. Okay. So now we can click next, and then we can key in the opening balance. Easy as A B C. Okay, so furniture is nine thousand. Ad office equipment is ten thousand. A general check account is uh, twenty-two thousand five hundred. Uh, petty cash is one thousand five hundred. Accruals is seven hundred and twenty. And finally, paid up capital. Where is paid up capital? Yeah, paid up capital is 42,280. Okay, so we don't, uh, the account is balanced. Otherwise, uh, the amount left to be allocated will be some number here. Lah. And so when we, uh, we, okay, we can undo this, eh? Okay, not. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so uh, if we don't have the balance, say, okay, see the amount left to be uh, allocated. So now asset is equal liability plus equity. Okay, and then uh, uh, when we put when we um, key in this, okay, the amount to be allocated is zero, meaning the account is balanced. Asset is equal liability plus equity. Okay, so next uh, we completed uh, key in the opening balance. Okay, to check. Okay, to check you close, go to report. Okay, then choose accounts, and then uh, click account list detail. Okay, the date we change it to uh, zero one. Zero seven, 
2008 according to the uh, guide okay and then click display okay make sure that um, your answer is uh, more or less the same like mine okay so I, I don't have uh, zero balance here it's forward like this okay and also you can check uh, you can check the study guide okay check the study guide uh, whether uh, what you have in your system is the same like answer in the study guide okay okay uh, so you can save this as account with balance all right and then okay account Swiss balance eh? and then you can check in the folder whether there is the file save in your U uh, pen drive yes yes you can see there the account with balance Okay, let's look into the um, the report produced by uh, by the what we call that uh, myop. Okay, I think something is not right here. Okay, something is not right. Why? Because. Um, we should have header for office equipment and we should have header for furniture, right? Because we uh, created that uh, accounts already. So, how to uh, to fix this? Okay, this is this problem might be because we did not uh, put that um, uh, the account uh, on up level, okay? So let's have a look. All right, go to account list. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, uh, we need to uh, put furniture under fitting. So what we should do is we click down. Okay, we group together. Okay, furniture under fitting. Okay. Yeah, if we put it up, okay, as you can see, uh, the balance for furniture and fitting is 9,000, furniture is zero, right? Okay, so if we group it together, okay, uh, so furniture and fitting become the total, eh, become the total for the group, okay? So under furniture and fitting should be furniture and fitting and accumulated depreciation and so on. Okay, let's look into uh, equipment, office equipment. Okay, so we put office equipment at cost, uh, group it with office equipment and also the accumulated depreciation. Alright, close. Okay, now let's uh, produce the report. Eh? Okay, go to accounts, go to uh, double click, okay, the date is correct, okay, right click display, okay, now, as you can see here, okay, we have the header for furniture and fittings, and, uh, and also we have the header for office equipment, okay. So now we resend the file, okay, and save, okay, we retry, or oh. okay, because we open this file, so we need to close this file first, alright, okay, so send to PDF, with balance, save, yes, and then let's have a look. Okay, now we have the header for furniture and fitting and the header for office equipment. Okay. 
Alright, so it's important. It's easier for us to, uh, to calculate. Okay, for example, for asset, asset is this figure 9, 9, 10, 10, sorry, 43 is 9 plus 10 plus 22,000 plus 1,500. Okay, furniture fitting is 9,000 minus, uh, is uh, 9,000 and later we have the accumulated accumulated depreciation same like office equipment and so on it become as a total for that type of asset okay all right so this is the correct one okay please make sure that your answer is uh, similar with answer answer given in the study guide okay thank you very much and see you in the next uh, lesson bye bye